What's happening everybody? HACRC back with you here on the channel and I finally put the Split Mini HD inside the Acro Brat. Tommy's video came out so a lot of people are jumping on board so I figured I would apply my knowledge and try to help the community out and see what's going on. Uh, the transition was pretty simple. All I did was change, pull out the Micro uh, Eagle, pull out the DVR, put in the Split Mini, and I did change the grommets from black to blue on my top dirty plate. Still have the black grommets going on for the flight controller stack because the Talon has its own soft mounting built into it as well so probably okay to keep that stiff for a while so I did correct the footage a little bit you know every like everybody knows and says it's not GoPro footage it's slightly better than DVR because the frame rate and the bit rate is higher um, the light transitions are there they're a little slow I do I do fly this with my exposure compensation up I think like one or two notches and I don't know if that is plus one or plus two or plus point 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 one or plus point two uh, just because I do notice that it doesn't if you bring the exposure up a little bit it doesn't wander as much when you fly around in any conditions so I learned that pretty much from my uh, uh, Strix uh, Nano Goblin so I've increased the sharpness a little bit and I've added a little bit of saturation and just took the exposure down just a touch in Adobe Premiere. And it was, uh, it's pretty windy out today. And, you know, I was pretty surprised it was uh, easy, you know, no jello in this video and it's like high noon, super sunny out. Um, I do miss the motion blur from my ND filters with my GoPro. That would really just be the icing on the cake. Uh, but this is going to put a little bit of a damper on the Acro Brat just because, you know, I'm now it's definitely a little bit more fragile because of the split mini. And the other thing is wind, I, you know, I, I don't know. It was it, It's pretty windy. Like I said, it's about... 8 to 12 miles an hour so this is probably the limit that I would even fly this in it's it's I probably should, wouldn't even fly it any higher wind just because it was getting blown all over but you know I really just wanted to test it and make sure that there was not any jello and of course this kind of stuff brings out the little shimmies in your tunes so I see that I have a little bit of bounces that I'll have to learn to mess around with um, or, or fly around or try to tune out and I also see that I've got some of my 3d printed mounts uh, showing up down in the corner that's really blurring those edges uh, so like the whole corners down there from all the way like from the pr props all the way down to the corner there is uh, kind of blurry so I'm gonna have to do something with that but hey it works it's 83 degrees out, 84 degrees out today, say 8 to 10 mile per hour winds in Ohio, and humidity's up a little bit. So that's your report, and I'll keep on flying and testing in different position, uh, conditions to uh, see how this combination holds out. Fresh gem fan props. So we're all good. We will talk to you guys later.